So now let's understand inner join. We have three kind of inner join as we discussed depending upon the joining condition. So the first one is theta join. What is theta join? Basically theta join is how we represent is something like this. If the relation R1 and R2 has to be joined, we write a join symbol like this. Okay. And then we give a theta that is joining condition and then the relationship R2. Okay. So this theta is basically what? Joining condition. Join condition. Fine. So let's say we take two examples. I mean two relationship. So it's R1 having attribute A1, A2 and AM and we have to join join this with another relation that is R2 which is basically having B1, B2 and let's say BN. Now if we join these two relationship if we join join these two relation then the outcome will be the outcome will be let's write it RJ and what will be the attribute the attributes will be the attributes of both R1 and R2 so it will be A1 A2 to AM similarly B1 B2 to B N okay so let's take an example of theta join so we have two relation given that is department which has department number name and HOD as attribute this HOD will hold the employee ID of HOD whereas the professor which is which has attribute employee ID department ID name and his phone number now the query is find out or for each department find name and the name and phone number of professor that is name of department and the phone number and the name of HOD fine so let's write it down for each department find find department name 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 of HOD and the phone number of HOD okay so what we will do here we will apply join or the theta join so what will be the query in relational algebraic form we will write the query as follows as we have to join department and professor so instead of R1 R2 let's write department department okay and it will join with professor we will write some join condition here so let's say we write it for now we write it theta okay oh, I just wrote Q theta okay with professor now this condition is important but basically first of all let's sort out the attributes so what will be the attributes the attribute is department name name of HOD and phone number right so we will apply project operation where we need name name then professor name okay this this name so name then professor name so let's write it p name p name and then we need phone number phone number now the important thing is what will be this join condition okay 
this theta value. So this will be basically what we need to see. We need to see that whatever is the employee ID here, that must be here. The joining condition with will be the employee ID equal to HOD. Okay, so the first will be HOD equal to EID. Okay, and what will be the next thing? It will be department number equal to department ID because here this department number and here the teacher which belongs to some this department ID okay so this department ID should be equal to this department number also so let's write it down so it will be department department number equal to department ID fine so this will be join condition here are few important properties of theta join so the first one is this theta join works very efficiently when the integrity in referential integrity constraint is maintained. So when we have a, a foreign key which is referring to a primary key of the referred relationship and then we are joining this mm, primary table and the referred table then this join operation works very efficiently. Another thing which we have to see here is like we are performing this join operation on this HOD okay attribute EID attribute and this is basically condition attribute okay so what if some of the attribute from these joining attributes are null okay so as these are not the primary key these are not always the primary key of a table what if let's say for some uh, user that is for some department there is no HOD for now so HOD column is null as this is very hypothetical case because there will be always a HOD but let's suppose there there is a condition where there is no HOD okay then in that case we have we will eliminate that entire tuple so this is one of the property and we should write it so the tuple whose joining attribute is null do not appear in the final result. So this is all about theta join. Let's quickly understand EQ join. So this is basically a theta join only. Okay. And the theta will be equal to some condition that is let's say condition or let's say attribute not condition. Okay. So theta will be equal to attribute 1 equal to So attribute of one relation is equal to attribute of another relation. Okay. So this is called equijoin. Now there is no nothing much great about this. Actually this is theta join only which we have studied. So now another one is natural join. Natural join is again one of the theta join or you can say one of the type of equijoin itself where let's say if we are joining these two tables okay and here the joining is done on the basis of this ID now, this ID okay and the same in the another table we also have this ID fine and at both the place the attribute name is same that is ID and add ID in that case we need not to what we did in equijoin if you notice here what we did is we mentioned both the attribute okay with this equality sign okay so here if the attribute names are also same let's say what I am doing is a1 equal to a1 which is not required to mention okay so we mention natural join and it naturally take the equal name attribute that is naturally it takes the attribute which has same name in both the tables and perform the join operation on the basis of that equal attribute that is ID and ID fine so 
let's write down what I have just said. So first of all it is denoted by strict sign that is R equal to R1 strict R2 okay. and then it is a equijoin where where the attribute names on the both of the side of equality is same for example that is id equal to id okay so we don't mention this okay we just mention natural join and it automatically takes it and perform the operation while in the result these columns will not be repeated so let's write it down also the result not have the repeating columns repeating columns okay so this is natural join and this is all about inner join now let's understand what is outer join 